Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. I also run a blog called Coco Styles NY where I talk about fashion on how to style. I guess you could say it's style advice. Super easy for all of my tall ladies. But in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys the number one problem that all tall women have. You excited? All right guys, so the number one tall problem that all us tall women have is finding clothes that fit us. It is a pain point for us, it drives us insane. And I'm gonna give you guys some things that you, you can do to actually ease some of that. And I'm just gonna jump right into it. And no, number one would be, do your research, guys. When you research what designers, what brands, what department stores, whatever, research and see who actually carries our size. Now, one of my issues that I do have with some of these stores is that they will sell extended sizes, but you have to order them. It's kind of annoying, but you know, at the end of the day, I think they can do a better job with that because we also go into stores and we shop. We're not aliens, okay? <laughs> We're just tall. So that's number one, do your research on what brands carry your size, your inseam, your shoulder to wrist length, everything. Find the brands that cater to us. Number two would be when you find a brand, stick to it. And I'm not saying buy only their clothes. I would say for like pants and stuff, pants and jeans, uh, those are those are some of the things that I would probably gear towards the same designer. So I wear a lot of Levi and Gap because they're classic and they fit me. I used to wear PZI, but they're not in business anymore, so I went to Levi. And to my surprise, Levi has long for us. So that's number two, find a brand and stick to it, more so for your pants and trousers. So that is number two. Number three would be get creative. And when I say get creative, here's an example. If you have a pair of pants, let's just use leather for example. Sometimes they're not long enough. So take your pants to the tailor. If there's enough room for you to bring out the hem. If it's not, I think you can buy some material of any kind, same material, a different texture, and add it on to the bottom. It'll give your pants some style. You could also take that same material. You can add it to your pockets. You can add it to your belt hoops. Just get creative with your stuff. For pants, again, I've been wearing Levi, but I recently purchased some ALC uh, leather, full leather pants, and they're extremely long but they also have room for me to actually take out the hem. I don't have to do it, but I can if I really wanted them to like drag or something, but I don't because they were not cheap. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do with them is just leave them as is. However, they did make it long enough for us to actually take out the hem if I needed to. So that is number three, get creative. Number four would be try different brands. Meaning, I said stick to the same brand, but f really for your pants, because that's most of our struggles, finding trousers and pants that actually fit us really past our ankles. But when I say find a new designer, meaning a luxury designer, I have found that Helmut Lang, ALC, I found that Ula Johnson and um, Zimmerman sometimes also carry shirts, tops, that are really long around the arms for us. So it's not high water on us, but it's long enough to where we're more comfortable in it. The shoulders fit really good and it looks good on us. So try other brands that you've never thought of. So that kind of goes along with your research. Once you do your research, you're gonna now go into finding which brands carry larger sizes or they may not, advertise it as extended sizes, but the tops may actually have long sleeves. I purchased some Alexander Wang sweaters. Those are, they're long. 
the sleeves are long. I, the sweaters are beautiful, but the sleeves are long on me. And I also have some Theory tops. Theory also has things that fit us tall women. So the reason why I was able to find those brands is because I did my research. And doing my research, I didn't even think about Alexander Wang, but when I came across it, I'm like, oh, this looks like it'll fit me. And it does. So that's number four, trying other brands and just kind of diving into the type of things that they actually put out. You may not be able to wear their pants, but their tops, yes, the dresses, in the middle because again, we don't want things to be extremely too short on us because it just doesn't look well. So that is number four. Number five would be get things custom made. Now I get it, it's a lot of money. However, if you can find a good seamstress, uh, you may not get it custom made, but you may purchase something that is a little bit bigger on you and have them really tailor it. There's a tailor in Atlanta, she's really, really good. And I've seen her turn plain dresses into something fabulous. So because we're tall guys and it's difficult for us, I still feel like we can be very, very stylish as everyone else. So I am gonna end this video by saying, don't think because you're tall that you cannot be stylish and it's possible guys, okay? We just have to do a little bit of research and I know sometimes it can be a little difficult and disheartening shopping, but you know, if you want, hire a stylist. I, I am a firm believer of that. And you guys wanna check out my website, I do have style services on there. And, um, but you know, I, I know that it's a little bit difficult for us, but it is possible for us to be fabulous like everyone else. And when it comes to shoes, for all my big feet gals, <laughs> that is me. If you are a size 10, I feel like you, you can find shoes often. It may go fast. 11, not so much, okay? Which I don't know why all companies just don't go up to a size 12. Like, I think they should. Designers go a little bit past that. Um, so again, you will probably find yourself spending a lot more money on shoes and stuff because of your, if you're, if you have a bigger foot, but you end up getting good quality. So those are my five, I guess you can say tips on helping you with the number one problem that all tall women have, which is finding pants and tops that fit. And guys, really quick, when it comes to jackets, you can just, those are easy. You know, you could always find jackets that fit. Just again, do your research. I find jackets all the time and I don't have an issue with it. I will say, recently I purchased something from Allison or Olivia, but it was, I don't know, it was weird because I got a, a large, but for whatever reason, the sleeves were very short. <laughs> so I took it back, but it was a really nice jacket. I could have gotten the sleeves taken out, but I felt like for the price, it wasn't really worth it to have them kind of go in and whatever, so. But those are my five ways you can actually fix that issue that us tall women have. So if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles and why. And I'm gonna pop in a picture of what I have on today. I just have on some trousers from Zara and a jacket that I sell, well, it's sold out of my boutique and a Zara tank. And I had on some really nice pumps today and just a simple, cool, chill outfit um, and fashionable. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.